Yes, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to take you through how to calculate how many calories you should be consuming and take this one step further by making it specific to yourself as a footballer or an athlete. If you do like the video and you find it useful, then please drop it a like and subscribe and also share because I'm trying to grow the channel. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so for the first section, I'm gonna jump on to my laptop and share my screen. But what I'm gonna be doing is visiting a website called BMR Calculator. There's a lot of similar options out there, but if you just type in BMR Calculator, go for one of the first few and just input your details as follows. So you're gonna put your age, 19, male, my weight is 83 kilos, and my height is centimeters, 184. So once you put all your details in, just calculate your BMR. Right, so this is telling me that my BMR, which is how many calories I would burn on a day where I wasn't doing anything, so how many calories my body burns by itself essentially, is just shy of 1,900, okay? And then when you factor in your activity levels below, so for myself, I put myself between moderate and high. Um, I play football about three days a week, I go to the gym four to five times a week um, at the moment. So I would say I'm probably closer to the high. I'd be in the high section. So my BMR is going to be around 3,200 calories a day. Now, this will vary day to day. Obviously, on a day where I've got a game, it's going to be higher than on a rest day. Um, but that is an average for throughout the week. So if you were to take that 3,200 roughly a day, over the course of seven days, you're obviously looking at about 22,500 off the top of my head. So that would be my weekly calorie intake. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you want to take this one step further and make it specific to yourself as a footballer or an athlete. So for this part, I'll get my whiteboard. Okay, so I've got my whiteboard. Now, the first thing you need to think about is what your goals are in terms of your weight in regards to sports performance. So this is gonna be one of three things. You either want to put on weight, for example, if you want to get a little bit bulkier, put on some muscle, you think that might positively impact your football or general sporting performance. The second option is weight maintenance. So this is if you feel like you're already a good weight, and you want to continue as you are, just maybe getting a little bit healthier foods, but the same weight. And the last option is weight loss. So if you think that you're carrying a little bit of excess weight, a bit of excess fat possibly, and you want to trim down a little bit, you think this will have a positive impact, then this is the category you're going to be in. So these are our three options. So you first of all need to decide um, which of these you want to put yourself in. So weight gain, weight maintenance or weight loss. If you want to be in a weight gain, you need to be in a calorie surplus. So the calories going in need to be greater than the calories going out. So using my example, put the top 3,200 was my um, calorie maintenance, okay? On average for a day throughout the week. So if I wanted to put on weight, to put on some muscle, put on some size, I would be looking for about 3,500 to 3,800 calories a day. If I was looking to maintain my weight, I would obviously be around the 3,200 figure, just so what's going in calorie wise is equal to what's going out, which will keep the weight the same. If I was looking to lose weight, I would, look in, I would be looking to be between 2,500 and 2,800 calories so that would mean that I was in a deficit every day calorie wise which would mean I would lose weight over a period of time so establish what your goals are use this to work out which of the following three categories you want to be in and then once you know which of the three you want to be in you then need to decide how much of a deficit or how much of a surplus you you want so for example if your weight's got really quite bad and you're looking to shed quite a little bit of weight 
or you need to make the weight for a boxing match, something like that, then you're going to be at a slightly larger deficit and closer to this first figure than if you just need to lose a little bit of weight just to tone up and get a bit sharper, then you'd be closer to this figure. Now, once you have this figure, you have your calorie goal, you just then need to modify it slightly depending on what you're doing each day. So, for example, if you've, if you've got a game on a Saturday as a footballer, your calorie intake on a Friday is going to be slightly higher and it's going to be high in carbohydrates just because you need to fuel yourself for that performance on a Saturday. If you've got a rest day and you're not doing as much, then you can be close, closer to this figure um, on that day. But what you want is over the course of the week to be closer to that end goal. So as I mentioned, uh, 3,200 a day came to, what do we say, 3,021, about 22,500 over the course of a week. Now, for example, say I'm looking to put some size on, increase a bit of muscle mass, and I'm giving myself a calorie target of around 3,600. You then want to look at this over the course of the week, and you're obviously going to be at 21,000 um, plus 3,000 plus 4,200, sorry, 25,200. So over the course of a week, I'm in about a 3,000 calorie surplus. So you want to look at it over the course of a week rather than day to day, because day to day, it can be difficult depending on what you're doing. Things will change, things will vary. But that is basically how you work out your calories. So let me just go over things again. You first of all want to go online onto like a BMR calculator and work out your calorie maintenance, factoring in your activity levels. You then want to decide whether you're looking to put on weight, to maintain your weight or to lose weight, depending on what you think will have the best impact on your sporting performance. And then using that, you need to work out how to vary each day, depending on what you're doing, to give you the total weekly target of that calorie goal. Once you've done all that, that will be your calories sorted. And then it's just about going into the breakdown of macros, your protein, fats and carbohydrates, which is something I'll go through in another video. But if you did find this video helpful, if you think it's something you're going to use or something will be beneficial to you, please drop the video a like. Um, drop in the comment section what more you'd like to see from me. And with that being said, that's it. Thanks for watching.